Hello students, today we will be discussing about the JEE mains paper that was conducted in 2017. So here onwards we will be discussing all the 30 questions one by one, the concepts and the tricks to solve the questions of JEE 2017 mains physics paper. Okay. Now, let us discuss question number 5. The question says, the moment of inertia of a uniform cylinder of length L and radius R. If cylinder is given, it can be hollow cylinder, it can be solid cylinder. If nothing is mentioned, we will assume that it is solid cylinder. If it is a solid cylinder, so let us first uh, discuss about the question. The question says that it is a solid cylinder. Okay, now this is solid, solid cylinder of uniform cylinder. So the area of cross section is same. Length L and radius R. So from here to here, the length is L, and the radius is is R. Okay. Now about its perpendicular bisector is I. So perpendicular bisector, this is the axis of the cylinder. The perpendicular bisector is which one? This one is the perpendicular bisector. This is the perpendicular bisector. So he says that moment of inertia about this perpendicular bisector is I. So the moment of inertia about this axis is I. This is given. Now what is the ratio of L by R that means this length to its radius such that the moment of inertia is minimum. Now it talks about that we have to find the moment of inertia minimum. Under what condition the moment of inertia will become minimum about this? What should be the relations between L and R? whether L should be double R or R should be 3 times L. So that means you have to adjust the length and radius while you make the cylinder. What proportions uh, you will make L and R such that the moment of inertia about the uh, transverse axis is minimum. That means it can easily rotate about that axis in all the uh, different uh, combinations of L and R which is having least moment of inertia. Now, <clears throat> first of all, let us write the equation or formula for moment of inertia of a solid cylinder about this transverse axis. About this transverse axis, the moment of inertia is, I will write the moment of inertia I, it found to be M r square by 4 plus m l square divided by 12. This is the moment of inertia about this axis. Then the derivation for this, you should know the formula, it's well and good, you put the value, then we will proceed further. If you don't know the value of, the, of this formula, you have to first derive the formula. Okay, so let me help you derive the formula as well. So let me derive the formula for you, then we will solve the question. At a distance, uh, how to find the moment of inertia? Now I will consider at a distance x, I will consider a strip, small element of length dx whose mass is dm. So at a distance x from this uh, center, I will consider one strip and that strip will be a disc okay because if this is a cylinder if you cut it by small pieces one piece will be a complete disc so it is a complete disc over here now in that complete disc now you would imagine this this is a cylinder now i have considered one portion here now the axis is like this this disc is like this 
how to find the moment of inertia of this element about this axis then first you have to find uh, you have to use the parallel axis theorem first find the moment of inertia about this axis on the diameter on the diameter so this is my dm so along this you have to find then at a distance you have to find on the diameter the moment of inertia we know that for a disc is uh, mr square by 4 okay this is mr square by 4 so for this element <coughs> so first let us derive the equations uh, for this element of mass dm the moment of inertia small moment of inertia about this given axis is dm mass m r square r is same because you cut it then radius will not change m r square divided by 4 plus m h square plus m h square means the mass of this and h square means x square this is the parallel axis theorem we are going to use okay moment of inertia about any axis parallel to the axis passing through its center is given by this now how to find the moment of inertia of the whole disk then you have to integrate this from minus suppose this is minus l by 2 and this is plus l by 2 plus l by 2 this is the whole length from here I am taking integration so this side is positive this part is negative so I integrate from minus l by 2 to plus l by 2 and now if I integrate this minus l by 2 to plus l by 2 so I will write this way di I write uh, mass in terms of that uh, dx in terms of dx length because I am varying the length uh, moving from minus l by 2 to plus l by 2 so I my variable is dx so in terms of that variable I will write uh, this dm as mass per unit length into dx this is mass per unit length what is m m is the total mass of this which is uh, not given but then it's okay total mass is m divided by total length and dx r square is over here I'll write r square divided by 4 and dx okay similarly for this it is uh, m by l x square dx this we have to integrate from minus l by 2 to plus l by 2 minus l by 2 to plus l by 2 let us move to the next page and see now di comes out to be I will just uh, take uh, whatever is uh, constant outside. I am just repeating the things. That is uh, m r square by 4l. m r square by 4l. Okay. And inside it is dx and it is minus l by 2 to plus l by 2. The next uh, term here, you can see here, I am just keeping this part outside and taking the integration of dx. Similarly, I will take this part out and take the integration of dx. So the next part is uh, m by l constant goes out and this is x square dx okay now you have to integrate it from minus l by 2 to plus l by 2 this way i can also write that 0 to l by 2 and 2 times 2 times 0 to l by 2 this also can be done so 2 times m r square by 4 l as this is over there i change the limit by putting 0 to l by 2 and doubling it so this limit becomes 0 to l by 2 so that it becomes more simpler that is 2 m by l 0 to l by 2 x square dx now this is half m r square by 2 l m r square by 2 l and this is l by 2 if you solve this this is l by 2 so l by 2 l l cancels this is m r square by 4 this is m r square by 4 what is the next part if you solve this 
this is 2m by l and this is uh, x square dx so x cube by 3 x cube by 3 so x cube by 3 0 to l by 2 so x cube by 3 3 can be taken out 0 to l by 2 so what i'll get 2m by 3l this is l by 2 so l cube by 8 1 l cancels so this is 2 so this becomes m r square by 4 plus this cut and this 4 so this is m l square by 4 this is up to m m l square divided by 2 so by integration this becomes i this is the moment of the solid cylinder about the transverse axis so you can see here initially i wrote the formula that i equals to m r square by 4 plus m x square by 12. if you don't know this formula first you derive this formula here m r square by 4 plus m x square by 12 then you solve the question now now what we'll do is uh, to solve the question now let us uh, solve the question i have to take one more paper and solve the question okay now we finally got the formula so we will solve the question the <coughs> formula i got is i equals to m r square by 4 plus m l square divided by 2 okay now the question says that the we have to assume that the volume is constant in this case you can see here i will assume that i will keep the volume constant and vary l and r so basically the relations of l and r is r so i will keep the volume constant and solve the question or uh, see what we will do so first of all what is the volume volume is uh, pi r square into l this is the volume of the cylinder sorry cylinder now i'll write this uh, r square as v by pi l r square as dy pi l if i put it here m v by 4 pi l because the 4 is there this pi l will come down r square is d by pi l so r square is d by pi l so m by 4 was earlier there plus m l square divided by 10. now this is i for uh, minimum or maximum we have to find the first derivative and that should be 0 for maxima or minima of a function or minima the first derivative here it is di with respect to dv i say or dl you say i with respect to l i am taking okay it should be zero If the volume has to be constant i am keeping the volume constant i am assuming that volume is not given little ambiguous but then still we will consider the volume as constant because it is all this now if i differentiate this equation with respect to length di over dl this becomes mv4 pi will come out because b is constant m is also constant now what about this length 1 by l 1 by l if i differentiate it is it becomes minus 1 upon l square this is the derivative and this part this m upon 12 l square differentiation is uh, 2 l okay now for this has to be zero for minima 
the question is about minima this has to be zero so i'll put uh, this right hand side to be zero then uh, this becomes equal to this so i'll write m l upon 6 must be equal to m v upon 4 pi l square now the relation is uh, to be found established between l and r this is the question okay to find the relations of l and r so one m will cancel here there is a one l here one l q l square is here but then what is the volume i'll write the volume formula again as pi r square l i'll sorry substitute the value here so it is l by 6 equals to pi r square l divided 4 pi l square this l also l also cancel this pi pi cancels this uh, 4 by 6 equals to r square upon l square so this is 2 by 3 so from here what i'm getting is r square r by l is under root 2 by 3 the question is about l by r so l by r will be under root 3 by 2 this is the this would be the answer so option 1 is correct options that is root 3 by root 3 by 2 under root 3 by 2 okay thank you